Hello students. Today we are going to learn about the organelle mitochondria and process of cellular respiration. Energy. All mechanical functions of the body require energy. In most living organisms mitochondria produces energy by the process called cellular respiration. Energy is required for Metabolic activities Transportation of materials within the body Movement of organisms Mitochondria Let's see the structure of mitochondria. They are rod or spherical shaped and are very small. They are protected by a double walled membrane. The outer wall is porous. The inner wall is folded inwards to finger shaped projections called Christi. This helps to increase the surface area, so more ATP molecules can be produced. They have their own DNA and ribosome and can synthesize proteins. Hence they are called semi-autonomous organelles. Cellular respiration. Cellular respiration can be aerobic or anaerobic. Aerobic cellular respiration is the metabolic process by which glucose is oxidized to carbon dioxide and water and energy. 30 to 32 molecules of ATP is produced from oxidation of one glucose molecule. Energy is produced by mitochondria and stored in the form of ATP molecule. Hence mitochondria is called powerhouse of the cell. First step in cellular respiration is glycolysis. Glucose from digested food diffuses into the cell and reaches cytoplasm. In cytosol glucose degrades or splits to form two pyruvate molecules, two hydrogen ions and two ATP molecules. This process is called glycolysis. Hydrogen ion combines with NAD and becomes NADH. NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide are electron carriers which helps in production of ATP. Pyruvate molecules and NADH molecules are then transported to mitochondria. In mitochondria, pyruvate decarboxylation or pyruvate oxidation happens. Here the end carbon of the pyruvate metabolite is removed to form an acetyl group and carbon dioxide. The acetyl group joins with the coenzyme COA to form acetyl COA. Cells of living organisms have oxaloacetate. This joins with acetyl COA forming citrate molecule. Citrate molecule then enters the curb cycle. The citrate molecule then undergoes oxidation and also reacts with enzymes and coenzymes. Here 1 GTP, 3 NADH, and 1 FADH2 molecules are formed per pyruvate metabolite. FAD is flavin adenine dinucleotide which are reduced electron carriers like NAD. At the end of the cycle oxaloacetate is formed again. The final step is called oxidative phosphorylation or electron transport linked phosphorylation. The electron which are carried by NAD and FAD are given to oxygen. The double bond of oxygen is broken and they combine with hydrogen to form water. When double bond of oxygen is broken large amount of energy is released. This energy is used to drive hydrogen ion across ETC, electron transport chain, through ATP synthase. This protein molecule taps this energy and will use it to combine ADP and phosphate molecule to form an ADP molecule. ATP is the energy currency of the cell. Hydrolysis of ATP produces 14 kcal per mole of energy. This energy is utilized for various mechanical processes. Anaerobic respiration. The breakdown of glucose happens in the absence or limited supply of oxygen. Only two ATP molecules are produced per glucose. Two types of anaerobic respiration are. Lactic acid fermentation. 
fermentation or alcoholic fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation. It is a metabolic process that happens in limited supply of oxygen. After glycolysis the pyruvate molecule produced is converted to metabolite lactate and energy. This happens in bacteria and in some animal cells, such as muscle cells. Alcoholic fermentation. It is a metabolic process that happens in absence of oxygen. After glycolysis the pyruvate molecule produced is converted to ethanol, carbon dioxide and energy. This happens in yeast and some fishes. Let's see the summary of what we have learned today. There are two types of cellular respiration. Aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration is of two types lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. First glucose will be degraded to form pyruvate molecule. In case of aerobic respiration pyruvate is oxidized to form carbon dioxide, water, and 30 to 32 molecules of ATP. In lactic acid fermentation pyruvate is converted to lactic acid and 2 molecules of ATP. In alcoholic fermentation pyruvate is converted to ethanol, carbon dioxide and 2 molecules of ATP.